What's good, everybody? It's your girl Cherry, and let me give my finger, Myla and Dwayne, and we have y'all. Here is baby boy sleeping ever so peacefully and sound. Look at his little outfit, and can y'all believe? Look how his outfit is fitting him. This is zero to three months. He's about to need three to six months. He's a big boy. He is a big boy, right, Mr. Man? I'm sorry, I missed you. But Mr. Man is a big boy. Calling him Butterball while I was pregnant was definitely an appropriate name for him. He all stretched out like he had a hard day at work and like he been paying some bills. But yeah, here is Mr. Man. And of course, we always got Big Sister Milo on duty. So it is Easter weekend, you guys, and I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Um, we're not doing much of anything. Today we're going to try to head out to um, Burlington, to the park, so Myla could play with her basketball a little bit, and then back in the house. As y'all know, I had a C-section. Now, it is officially three weeks, well, tomorrow, it will be three weeks since I had my C-section, and I'm happy that I'm just able to move around a little more and get out and things like that, okay? So, if you are new here, hey boo hey, welcome to the vlog. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I'm wearing a hat because, you know, your girl had braids. I don't have braids for a month now, and I haven't been greasing or oiling my scalp like that. And I have dandruff, and I never, ever get dandruff. So I started, like, kind of flaking it out, and then I try to put oil, and it's a hot mess. So I'm just going to be wearing a hat today, and then when we come back in the house tonight, I will definitely start taking out my braids. I mean, if I would have oiled my scalp, I'm pretty sure they could have lasted a little longer. As y'all could tell, come, Myla. Let me show you. Me and Myla got our hair done on the same day, and her hair. Come over here. Her hair is a little messy, but... It's still looking good. Look at these edges. This girl love her some edges. I did see how it looks. But um, it's still looking good. So if I would have been greasing my scalp, I'm pretty sure my braids would have looked decent as well. Anyways, um, yeah, y'all gonna come with us and spend a day with us, and we'll see y'all when we get outside. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We here just a walk in. It's a little windy, but it's not really windy. It's like a good, good breeze that I'm feeling. But you know, baby boy's only two weeks, so I still got the plastic on his stroller. We decided to go to the park first. We stopped at the store being greedy and got mad snacks. So we're about to sit in the park with Myla for a little while, eat some snacks, let her play. She has a lot of energy that she needs to burn off. And yeah, she always wants us to play with her, do something with her. And she needs to... um learn that she can do things by herself that she needs to be a little bit more independent and whenever we go to the park and other kids be like hey you want to play hey let's play together hey you want to do this she'll be like no but then she'll come to me like oh mommy you want to play with me i'm like go play with those kids at the park so we told her before we left we not running around in the park with you you're gonna make a friend today oh and here i go about to miss the park <laughs> hmm. but yeah to the park we go. Baby boy's in here. Y'all can barely see him. But he's in there snuggled. Just so y'all know, this is our first time. Our first time. Family walk. Yep, our first time outside as a family. Um, Since I had the baby, me and Dwayne and a baby have been outside going to the doctor. Me and Dwayne have been outside going to the doctor. Dwayne and Myla have been outside going to the park and stuff. But this is our first time in a group <laughs> this is our first time in a group like a group outing that we're all going to the park together yay, yay. yay. I'm happy to be getting back to you know things that I enjoy doing it's such a beautiful beautiful day out today the wind and I are just sitting on the bench being mom and dad <laughs> now we're eating snacks what kind of snack you got sweet Oh, I'm going to try some sweet heat barbecue. <laughs> and then, oh, that one kicked up a little bit. And then I just got some Nutter Butter. Myla got a, I don't know, I don't even know what she got. But she's um over there. Let me see if I can get her. Come over here. Let me see your basketball skills. 
Stand right there. Let me see you bounce the ball. Mm. You know how to put it between your legs? <laughs> you got to practice a little more, girl. So you're running back and forth now. Uh, here's baby boy, just sleeping as peacefully as can be. I took the plastic off and just put the net on so he could get a little bit of air. You know, baby boy. You know, you know, baby boy need a little bit of sunlight. So <laughs> we try to get him um, a little bit of sun, and then we decided that we're also gonna walk through the um, we're also gonna walk through the garden when we finish here. You know, just spend a little time outside. I feel like me being outside is very therapeutic for me i feel like it helps me mentally um just to get fresh air just to be able to move around and things like that so i'm definitely going to try to get outside more often now um the further along oh i thought that bike was coming through that little can you see it i'm gonna say hi there hi got a little hole oh not just trying to feed me a chip on camera nah the gate is closed i'm gonna say i can't see around this slide i can see I thought somebody would come through that little entrance over there. But it's, he put his bike on the gate because the gate is closed. But um, the further along I get in my recovery, you know, the more I get back to feeling like myself and doing things and so on for it. Sometimes I still do feel a little bit of pain. You know me. I love cleaning and things like that. I've been trying to clean and my body has been telling me, hold up, sis. Hold up, sis. It's been... Technically, tomorrow is going to be three weeks, so we're still in, like, a two-week range of me having a C-section. And, you know, my body's like, hold up, we need to slow down. But, yeah, we're going to be in a park for a little while, go for a walk through the garden, and then try to um, head to Burleson. Let's see how I feel once we finish here at the park. Oh God, he done called his cousins over. Let's take the trip and go, my G. Oh, stole it from the little bird stole the chip. Go ahead, you wanna pick that one? Girl, just pick it up and twist it over there. No, she don't scare. He just came back down. Where is it? Oh, he got it. Oh, you look like you hot. You hot? You look like you sweating. Why your hair so shiny, girl? I feel like my scalp is going to be white because it's so much sun. Because of the sun? The sun don't make you white, girl? No, my sun skin. give you some color. I don't it's time like to feed. Color. Okay. It's time to feed, baby boy. And then we're going to start heading. My shadow is in the clip. Then we're gonna start heading um, to the store. Don't be shocked with the camera on, but I ain't eating. Shy. Not the milk dripping down the side. Oh, my, the milk. <laughs> you didn't get no hand sanitizer. So you should not be touching the baby face. You want some hand sanitizer? Yes. Okay, let me get it out the bag for you. What? Mm -hmm. what? Yeah? Oh, okay. You smell like two men? Hmm? No, that's not work. You gotta say hello, mama, baby. That's my Mr. Man. Say hi, mama. Hi, my baby, doing? 
How am my baby doing here? You see? If they mommy know how to give me a little smile. Uh. Nope. <laughs> Not smiling. Don't try to play me now. Mm -hmm. Mommy know how to give me a little smile. Mmm. Mm -hmm. be a shady with it. Hello, mm -hmm. Mr. Man. Say hi, mama. That's your my mama, right? It's your my mama. Hi, Mr. Man. Say, mommy, I'm outside. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this at all. I got that sun shining on me. Right? Yeah. You better fix that face. You got that sun shining on me. I got me a snowsuit. Mm -hmm. You got a little bit of blonde in the brown? It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of Here while we were at the store, Mr. Man started to get a little fussy. I took him out his um, car seat and, you know, try to console him a little bit. But then we thought that he probably was overheated. As y'all see, he has on like this big, heavy, thick snow suit. And it was good when he first came home from the hospital because it was still very chilly outside. But now that we're rolling into April and it is officially spring, here in New York, it is starting to warm up a little bit. On this particular day, it was 60 degrees, so it was a breeze outside as well. So something like a snowsuit is not suitable for this weather. One of the reasons I did go to Burleson was to try to find him something a little more lightweight. So you see me here just like starting to undress him because we noticed that like baby boy was hot. Like he was hot in that damn snowsuit. So I took it off or whatever the case may be. And then you're going to see in a clip in a minute, like the wings holding him patting his back talking to him and so on for it let me just tell y'all right now i am so grateful and so blessed to have someone that is so hands on and such an amazing father figure to myla and an amazing dad to mr butterball himself he does a great job supporting me he's full hands on and i have no complaints i really have no complaints and could not have asked for a better partner to have a child with Oh boy, <laughs> my camera not focusing that well, but we here at the ice cream truck getting some ice cream. Hmm? What do you say? Yeah. Ice cream tasting. Mmm, the way being fancy. Wow, look how much I want to change mine. Yeah. I'm gonna get a caramel one too. Oh no. Alright, I can get a lick of yours. You want a lick? <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, asking for a cup for my Oh, can I have a cup? A 
cup so she could put her ice cream in. Can she get a cup to put her ice cream in? Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. Look at that. What that? I take it off. Huh? I take it off. No, just eat around it. Oh, can't you take it off? I don't think the cone gonna come out, Myla. You just gotta you wanna break it off? Kids. Always gotta be extra. Alright. I got the shoulder. You got it? Yeah, I'm trying to get you. Is it just like me or when your partner or your spouse gets a different something different than you, they shit always look better than yours and you always want their shit? That's good. From now on, that's why I be telling you to order first. And then I order first. I didn't know that you was gonna get that strawberry. And then I got this. This is okay. But it ain't it ain't that. Yeah. That's good. How you liking your ice cream? It's good. Okay. And baby boy right here. It got a little windy out. So I put, um, well actually Dwayne put the blanket and then the plastic like this. Y'all can't really see him. Y'all can't see him, but he in there. <clears throat> oh. He was his mama. <laughs> all right child so i'm back home i'm gonna do a quick haul for y'all because we better to just relax wind down we've been outside for how many for like five hours now well we were outside for like five hours that was a stretch for me i'm um, just walking being outside it felt really really good and it's good to know that i'm getting back i'm getting your girls getting back to the old her so let me show y'all we wanted to we went to burlington we was going to go to five below as well, but I said, let me not push myself because I didn't want to start feeling, you know, like I was in pain or start hurting or anything like that. <laughs> so, so here's Mr. Man. He did a poop. Daddy about to change the poop? Yeah. Listen. Say hi, Mr. Man. He on it. He ain't, he ain't with it. Okay, okay, I know. Say, so you trying to get me to say hi and I got poopy butt? What's wrong with you, mama? Hmm. Love you, Mr. Man. Yeah, say, come change me. Somebody come change it, poopy butt. Come and change this. Look. Say hi. Oh, we don't want to. He said, I don't want to be on camera. All right, I respect it. I respect it. Say less, say less. Hmm. Okay. So, let me show y'all really quick what we got from Burlington. We was going to go to other stores, but I said, let me not push it. So, I went there um, initially because I was trying to find, um, a, like, a jacket or a lighter version of the snowsuit for baby. Because the weather is starting to get a little nicer, but it's still not nice enough for him not to be covered up. And when he had his snowsuit on outside today, he was sweating. So the snowsuit is a little too thick for now. But I'd rather have that on him than to have nothing on him. So what we end up doing is leaving the snowsuit on and then just removing his blanket. And he just had the snowsuit on. And then when it got really windy, well, y'all saw, we just covered up the top of the car seat so the wind didn't blow inside. But underneath, he just had his snowsuit on. So they didn't have no snowsuits. I probably have to go to like... The children's place or they didn't even have like any thick sweaters or anything like that i'll probably have to go to the children's place or um carters um maybe old navy might have something i don't know i'm even gonna check on she is it she in yeah it is she in i'm even gonna check on she in and they might have something that i could order um from there as well so let me just show you really quickly what we got and baby boy is gonna be fussing because he don't like he don't like diaper changes like his thing is every time he's getting his diaper changed just he just be spiting us he starts peeing and we're not talking about just a little psh, we talking about he be peeing up over his head on the floor all around like it's, it'd be crazy it'd be crazy in here um one day he pooped and it shot across 
<laughs> the dining room table. Like, it was crazy. He be getting us when it's time to change his diaper. But, yeah. So, this is what we got for Mr. Man. We got this little outfit. It's, um, like, for summertime. We've been buying him now. We started buying him six months because he is growing fast. He's fitting his zero three months perfectly. The newborn, I told y'all, after the first day, he couldn't even fit newborn. We had to squeeze him. Like, we forced him into his newborn clothes the first day just to take pictures and stuff. But, um... Zero to three months is fitting him perfect. So we just said we just gonna straight get six months. So we got this. It's like a little one piece short set. Super cute. And the brown and this one with the smiley faces. Really love it. And this was only twelve ninety nine. So we got three pieces for twelve ninety nine. All right. Next, let me put this chair a little closer. Next we got this. I love this. This have suns on it. And browns and beiges and like tan colors. It looks really, really good on Devon's skin complexion. So, and the funny thing is, browns, um, tans, beige, grays, those are all Dwayne's favorite colors. So he's excited. <laughs> he looked at me like, Why are you telling my business? He's excited that, um, you know, the baby's right up his alley. So this was $7.99 and it comes with the socks and everything. Super cute. This is six months as well. And I don't even know if he's going to be able to fit down in the summertime. Yeah, let me tell y'all. I didn't even go to buy nothing for myself. And look. Look what your girl done found. Boom. I got these sneakers. They're so, so nice. These are Reeboks. I'm not big on um, brand names. I'm more so of a type of person. If I like it, if it looks nice, then I'm going to buy it. Despite the price, despite the store I get it from and things like that. So, these are some Reeboks. I really, really love these. I only paid $30 for them. Actually, Dwayne was like, you want me to buy those sneakers for you? I got you. <laughs> and he brought the sneakers. But I did need a new pair of sneakers. I haven't worn sneakers in like um, seven months. Because I was just wearing Crocs my whole pregnancy. My feet got really swollen. So, yeah. I got these. I really, really like these. Then, Myla, you know, Myla always got to get something. She's like, please, get this for me. Get this for me. I'm like, you sure this is what you want? She's like, yeah. So, she got this little sunglass and glass case holder thingy. And we pay, I think this was $5. This was $6. So, she got that. Um, and Myla has her own money. I be telling her, bring your money outside. Oh my gosh, look at these shoes. Look at these. We got to put this on a baby foot and, and show it off. So we got these little shoes for him. Hold on. So we got these little shoes for him. These are so stinking cute. These are Nordica. He's going to be rocking these in the summertime. So cute. And we paid $7.99 for these. Let's see what else we got. Your girl wasn't playing. I got another hat. Because <laughs> I didn't have, this is, I don't know if I told y'all, this is Dwayne's hat. I could not find none of my hats, so I said I have to make sure I get a hat. So I just got this beige hat, and I paid $8, I think. I paid $10 for this hat. And it's Puma. Just got the little Puma logo right there. Super cute. I'm not really a hat girl, but they definitely come in handy um, when your hair might be like mine's, or you just want to wear a ponytail. I picked up this um, Britney Spears Fantasy. This is my favorite perfume. Of like all time. Anytime I wear this fragrance. Like random people walking down the street will stop me. And be like oh my gosh you smell so good. What fragrance is that? So I'm letting y'all in on a secret. This smells really really good. And if you want to know what I be smelling like. Boo, this is it right here. And you could get this at like Marshalls. Um, TJ Maxx. Um, Burlington. Like they used to sell you that perfume mania. And like the high end perfume stores. Like Macy's and stuff. But this is super old, so now you can get it at, like, your bargain stores. And I paid, what'd you say? I'm done. He said free Britney. I, Br Britney is free. She she has been freed already. And I paid $14.99 for this. All right. Next we got, oh, I know we got these. What, what, where did these come from? What's that? <laughs> I didn't know we got these. So, we got some caramel cheddar popcorn. And Myla and Dwayne went to the movies. Yeah, you ain't know my butt, right? Myla and Dwayne went to the movies last weekend. And every time we go to the movies, like me and Myla, we always make sure we get the, um, the 
is it. Oh, we always make sure we get the caramel cheddar popcorn. So I guess the one was missing the movies. Because when they went to the movies, Myla came back and she definitely was like, we got the caramel cheddar popcorn. So yeah, they got that. Um, What else is in here? Oh, I brought these little barrettes for Myla to put in her ponytails. Y'all yeah, seen her with these in her hair before. So this looks like this. These she can wear as little bracelets. And I paid $5 for this. So she got this. And then Dwayne picked up some of these body washes. He got the Say Eyes Oatmeal and Shea Butter and Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp. So this is how it's looking. He said he wanted some new scents because the soaps he's been buying, he feel like it's been making him stink. And um, he paid $3.99 for these. I found this outfit. The clothing selection for Myla was very disappointing. Usually when I go to um, Burlington, even if it's not a whole bunch of stuff, I could find a decent amount of stuff for Myla. But they just they just didn't have it today. The selection... What happened, Mr. Man? Hey, where's my mama? Yeah, he about to cry. He got the face. The, the noise ain't come out yet. Um, So, <clears throat> this is the only thing that we saw that she thought was super cute. So I got this, and you want me to take two? You got it? Oh, you still putting on his pajamas? I mean, his onesie. So this is Hello Kitty. Is a shirt with a matching shorts, and it just looks like this. This is a quick and easy throw on and go type of summer outfit. That's the only thing that she kind of was interested in. I said, uh, oh, it's okay, not my favorite, but so be it. And I paid ten dollars nine ninety nine, so she got one little summer outfit there to go. Also, I know we are um what are we in? We are in March still, but we saw this mug and it looked like beer in here, and it's like you know a little trick mug. And my um, I brought this for my father for Father's Day, so I'm gonna give him this a card and whatever else I get for him, but. I saw this. It was only four dollars, right? It was only four ninety nine. So originally, as y'all see, it was nine ninety nine. Then it got down to four ninety nine. So I just got this. I'm gonna put it to the side. It's a Father's Day, and this is gonna be a part of his gift. What you looking for in here? My oh, look at my glasses. Looking for the glasses. You wanna say hi? Hi. My glasses. I look it for my glasses. Yeah, I already showed them your glasses. glasses. All right, let me finish this up, and then what we got for the baby, the baby. We just got a little bit more milk for him. So this is the milk he's drinking right now. It's Stimulac 360 Total Care. We got this. This is what they was giving him at the hospital, and we just stuck with this brand for now. Um, I do get Wick, and if y'all know Wick um pays for your milk for your baby so when i do go to do my wick um they're going to switch him over to infamil in new york i don't know if this is a everywhere type of thing but in new york specifically wick only gives you infamil so when i go do wick he's going to get switched over to that milk because that's the only milk they'll pay for so for now he's just been using this because this is what the hospital gave him and i didn't want to be switching him over back and forth between too many milks so yeah, we just got these. We take these outside with us and we use these in the house. So yeah, that's everything we got from Burlington. And now we about to wind down and watch a movie or do something of that nature. I'll see y'all tomorrow for Easter. Hey, Cherry Blossoms. Happy Easter. So it's officially Sunday and it is Easter and this light is giving. It is giving. Um... I'm here with Myla. Myla's over here. Let me see if I can show her. Where are you, girl? Myla's, Myla's over here with this sweatband. Let me tell y'all. You see this girl, this sweatband? They had um, career day at school. And Myla said that she wants to be a basketball player. So we bought her like a basketball jersey and a sweatband. And let me fix the camera before I keep talking. But we bought her a basketball jersey and a sweatband and things like that. And this girl is obsessed. She's been wearing this sweatband like almost every day. But yeah, I'm here with Myla. Dwayne ran out to the store. 
um, to grab a couple of things. I think, I don't know if he gonna get the ingredients for a cake, but I asked him to, to get the ingredients for a cake so we could um, bake a cake today for Easter. Baby boy is in his bassinet sleeping. I will show him to y'all in a moment. Um, he's been kind of fussy today and I've had him in the carrier for a majority of the morning and now he's like sleeping peacefully in his bassinet. Let's see how that plays out. Um, my mom's like, he's gonna spoil you. You need to put him down. I'm like, girl, he's only, uh, today he is officially three weeks old. Baby boy is three weeks old. I told my mother, I'm like, he's only three weeks. Like, I could see if he was six months or something, then I'm like, yeah, he's gonna spoil you. But he's just still such a fresh newborn baby to me that, like, I, I need him here. I need him right here with me. But, um, anyways, you guys, happy Easter. Let me know down in the comments below, how are you celebrating your Easter? Do you have any family traditions that you do? Um, what do you do for the day? Or is Easter Sunday just like a regular day for you? You just go about your regular routine. Um, do you go to church on Easter? Do you cook a big Sunday dinner? Like, let me know down in the comments right now, how do you normally celebrate your Easter Sunday? Um, we're just going to be in a house today. As you see, your girl got on Christmas pajamas. I'm in my pajamas still. Myla's in her pajamas. Baby boy's in his pajamas. We're just going to have a real chill lounge day. Yesterday, as y'all saw, we was out and about. So today, I just want to rest in the house because tomorrow I have to go out and do um, a good amount of things as well. So yeah, that's basically what's going on. We're about to eat, and um, as soon as Wayne comes back upstairs, we're going to eat. And then, baby girl, she had a little drama this morning, but she got she got it together. Baby girl's going to get her Easter basket. Do you want to get your Easter basket now, or do you want to wait till the Wayne comes back upstairs? We want to wait till the Wayne comes back upstairs. All right, so she's going to get her Easter basket in a few. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to chill out in the house. For today, me and Dwayne discussed what we was going to make for dinner tonight. So we are going to cook a little small something. Nothing like special or spectacular. But we're going to cook a little small something so we can eat dinner at home. Since I had the baby, we've been relying a lot on um, like takeout food. Or we haven't been grocery shopping. So we've just been running to the store to pick up um, little things here and there. But we really need to do a full-blown grocery haul. We've been eating a lot of um, pre-made meals, like you take it from the freezer, pop it in an oven type of thing. Um, sandwiches. I couldn't eat sandwich meat during my pregnancy. So me eating a sandwich, I could eat a sandwich every day. I could go for a sandwich right now, if I'm being quite honest. But um, yeah, those are the things we've been eating. I'm starting to feel better every day. So a few days ago, I did make quesadillas. That was my first time back in the kitchen, like cooking something. So, yeah, slowly but for surely, I'm getting back at it. And before you know it, we'll be back to having our cooked meals and things of that nature. So, let me show you our baby boy real quick because he is getting, he's getting fussy. It's like he hears me talking and he's like, wait a minute, why is her voice over there and I'm over here? Oh, it might be time for him to um, have to eat. So, let me show you our baby boy really quick and then I'll come back when... Myla gets her Easter basket and she's opening it and things of that nature. I did have a little Easter outfit and it, it's nothing fancy. It's a pajama set for a baby boy, like a onesie. And it just has carrots. Is it bunny rabbits on there as well? No, I'm looking at it. It's actually over there. It just has carrots on it. So I was going to put that on for Easter. But honestly, child, this year, who cares? Like, normally I would dress Myla up for Easter um like fancy dress her up sometimes she'll go to church with my father um every year i always get her easter basket this year i'm not obviously the baby he's only three weeks old he doesn't need an easter basket but next year he'll have an easter basket and he'll be able to um you know get some stuff and things like that so yeah that's what's basically going on with us today so let me show you our baby boy and then i'll be back in a few once um Milo's opening her Easter basket. Here's Mr. Man. Just sleeping. Knocked out. And when I tell you this baby big, look at, this, look at my little man. Hey, I believe he's only three weeks. He's only three weeks and he's like 11 pounds. He's a big, he's a big boy. But look at my handsome little man.
Oh, are you smiling? Are you smiling for your mama? You smiling for your mama? Hey, Joe, mama, baby. And here's baby girl over here. She's making a picture. She's using her tablet. And they're showing her how to draw the picture. And she's trying to draw a picture. Ooh, that looks nice. That's ice cream. Is that ice cream? Yeah, this is an ice cream, this is an ice cream, and this is going to be a lollipop. Let me see. Hold it with two hands. Oh, that looks just like an ice Ooh, you're doing a great job following the video and drawing pictures. I love it. Nice. Looking good, girl. Looking good. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Ta-da. Happy Easter! Let's see what you got in your Easter basket. Okay, because you keep talking about you want to go to the beach. No, you want to go to the water park. That's so we could dye some eggs. We can make red, yellow. So later on... Yeah, so later we're going to dye some eggs. Hold on. Get the oh, uh, the Oreo. Yep. Your favorites. What else you got? Yep. Twist it up. You got to twist it up more than that, girl. Hold on. Go ahead. Put it down now. Ah, look how fast it's going. Put it back. Let's start over. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else you got. You can play with that on the floor. It hopped pretty fast. I didn't think it was going to go that fast. Now it'll stop. It's slowing down. Let's do it one more time. Let me wind it up. All right, go ahead. Put it down. <laughs> that does go pretty fast. But it, it um slows down quickly, too. Up. Oh, I'm going in a circle. Okay, let's see what else you got. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else you got in your bag, your basket. It stayed up for a long time. So I got a beautiful cup. Mm -hmm. Purple, my favorite color. So you could drink something out of there today. I had to rinse that out though. Mm -hmm. I got some bunny ears, so cute bunny. Mm -hmm. Are you going to wear bunny ears today? Okay, let's see. And I got a jump rope. You take that to the park next time you go. Oh, I got some. You know what that is? Those are marshmallows. They call peeps. And it's like, uh, see it says marshmallow right there? Yeah. It's like a marshmallow. It is a marshmallow, but it's in the shape of a bunny. But can I try one? After you finish looking in the basket. Keep going. Let's see what else you got. Another pink peeps. Mm-hmm. Marshmallow bunnies. I know you like marshmallow. Yep, I love marshmallow. Flowers. You always want you want some flowers in your room. Flowers. Yeah. And the last thing you got. Oh, no. That one. I got some butterflies. Yeah, and I know we got paint brushes and paint here. So you get to paint a picture. What does it say? It says home sweet home. Yeah, you can hang that up in your room somewhere. Because yeah. everything Myla got in her Easter basket. Super duper cool. And then later on, we're going to bake a cake. Yeah, we bought the stuff to make a cake. And we're going to dye some eggs. So right now, we're about to eat breakfast. And Daddy just finished feeding baby. Hey, Joe, my mom, man. And y'all can't really tell, but baby boy has great eyes. Hey, Joe, Mr. Man. Uh, so we are back. Milo's about to dye her eggs. We have all the colors here. Do we have that many? Five? Oh, I guess. We'll see when we put it in what color it turns. And then we have some eggs here that we're going to be dipping in. Most of these Myla's going to do, and then I'll probably do like one or two. So, 
Let me set the camera up and let's get started. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock Feel like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of painting she's doing her canvas if i was thinking smart i would have brought more than one canvas so we all could have painted but i only brought this one for our easter basket so she's here home sweet home painting her son here's the color she's using Dwayne is here snacking baby boy is sleeping and he's watching something on TV. And yeah, we just chilling. We just chilling. You having a good Easter? Yeah. Uh, the best Easter ever. Girl, the best Easter ever. Every year she gonna say, it's the best one ever. That's fine with me. Yeah, you gotta make sure you dip that brush in the water. Yeah. To get the cut. And be careful so you don't get paint on the table. Okay. So yeah, I try to take pictures of Mila. And a baby with Easter headbands on. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> with Easter headbands on. And the pictures came out crazy. It came out crazy. Yeah. Y'all see how that went, right? But um, baby boy wasn't with it. Myla, she loves taking pictures, so hers came out good. Just me and Myla painting. Hello. Painting. Hello. Painting. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So for right now, your girl is down for the count. I was up for most of the day. You know, I was out a lot yesterday. And one thing I will say as far as me recovering. 
from getting a C-section. I am doing better. I am able to move around more. I am more mobile. But if I'm up too long or I'm doing too much bending or anything like that, then I will start to experience pain. Um, I am three weeks post C-section. And I am officially one week with, no, I think I'm one week and like maybe a day. But I'm one week officially, no medication. I do still have to take my, um, what is it? I'm taking iron. Is it iron? I believe it's iron. I do still have to take my iron medication because I am anemic now because of the blood transfusion. So I have to keep up with that. Um, but yeah, I started feeling a lot of pain. And when I went to bend down to pick up something like, I instantly jumped back up and was like, ooh. And the wings like, yeah, you need to go lay down. When's the last time you had your feet up and you rested and things like that? So I am doing better, but my recovery or, you know, my C-section lets me know. Like, boo, it hasn't been six weeks yet. Like, calm down, calm down. So I'm just going to lay down in the bed for a little while. You know, your girl always got, <laughs> your girl always got a snack. And I promise y'all, when I hit six weeks, I already um, picked out, like, how I'm going to be meal planning and the things I'm going to be eating. I'll share a little bit of that with y'all once I hit six weeks. But um, I'm going to be exercising and dieting and things like that. I'm going to have no starch because right now I eat a lot, a lot of bread. I can have bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and be okay with it. But I'm going to do no starch and I'm going to work out. And um, I'm also going to be making smoothies. One thing that I have been doing since I had my C-section, because my doula said that it'll help me recover faster, and I kind of like got used to doing this every day, is drinking beet juice. The beet juice is disgusting. It's disgusting, but um, I could tolerate it, so I'm going to continue to drink beet juice, and I want to make some beet juice smoothies and things like that. But like I said, once I hit six weeks and I get the okay from my doctor that I'm able to exercise and stuff like that, then I'll get more into that. But for now, you girl got... I got um caramel and cheddar popcorn here. So I'm just gonna stay in bed for a little while, um, rest and then get back up later. I still wanna bake a cake with Myla. If I'm unable to bake the cake, maybe Dwayne will bake it, but child, he ain't never baked a cake before. So if I want the cake to come out decent, I'm gonna get up a little later and bake the cake. He already said that he's going to handle um, the cooking for dinner. And right now, he got the baby. So, yeah. That's what's going on now in my household on Easter Sunday. I'll catch y'all a little later when um, I'm actually up. <laughs> and, I'm able to be, and I'm able to be mobile. Also, two videos that I have coming for y'all is I want to do um, what you would need for a C-section video. Like, the things that help me recover as fast as I'm recovering. Like, um, for instance, I needed to get an air mattress and take my mattress off of my bed and put the air mattress on my bed frame because my bed was too low. Nobody tells you that when you get a C-section, you're not going to be able to sit your ass down. You cannot. If it's too low, you can't. You can't. If it's too low, then it's a no. Okay? Nobody tells you that. So... I wasn't able to sit on my couch for a week. I wasn't able to get in my bed for a week because those things were too low. So, yeah, I'm going to have like a, a survival of a C-section video coming. For those of you who may be having an upcoming C-section or know someone who was pregnant and may have to, um, you know, have the baby via C-section. And then also I'm going to do um, uh, either 24 hours with a newborn baby video or a nighttime routine with the baby video. Like... Once I give him his bottle, he goes to bed. What happens at 3 o'clock in the morning, child? 5 o'clock in the morning, child? 7 o'clock in the morning? Like, so I have those two videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. But, yeah, for now, I'm just going to rest a little bit and take it easy and stay off of my feet. So, Blossoms, after that last clip, I end up taking a nap for about two hours. When I woke up from my nap, dinner was already made. And then I decided to go ahead and still bake a cake with Myla. Here's the ingredients that we use for the cake. This is a bunny cake pan that I actually bought for Myla's third birthday. She wanted a bunny cake and I still saved the cake pan. So yeah, um, we had a wonderful, amazing Easter. It was real low key and chill, but we definitely enjoyed our first Easter as a family of four. 
scared how the cake is looking once it is done. But once Myla put the frosting on it, child, it didn't even look like a bunny anymore. But um, Myla enjoyed doing this with me, and she enjoyed spending time with her new baby brother and just us in the house as a family doing things. Anyways, Blossoms, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, hey boo hey, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video. I love y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video, Blossoms. Bye.